regular life. Yeah. And I action. Need, I need a board, a little slappy board. In Duluth, Minnesota, not Duluth, Georgia, as someone pointed out yesterday. We're painting here again. Today is day two of plein air painting. And probably will be the last until next week. Yeah. But we're here because they have live music from 10 to 11 down here. This is right at the intersection of Lake Street and Superior. Come on down, check it out. If you're a painter, come on down, check it out. Um, it was a little short notice. We decided to do it today to kind of work with uh, the musician that's happening and uh, free coffee and everybody gets to hang out. So I'm going to put my gloves on and we're going to paint something. You're going to have to speak up. I get to speak up? Yeah. We have different sort of noise. I know. Maybe if I move the mic up. Well, no, that's, that's for this. And that's oh. fine. These guys can't hear that. They can't hear us? No. I'm sorry. Hi, welcome. Oh, Iran. Wow. Can you come in tighter? Or? A little bit. They, you know, when it's live, I don't have any options on Zoom. So. It's a little crazy. This is outdoors. It is a busy city street, so you will have a little trouble hearing us except over on this platform here, which is the YouTube, right? YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch. We okay. have a microphone. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize we're on Twitch. She keeps surprising me. <laughs> so I got this delicious coffee. It's really good. But I'm going to paint with it a little bit, too, which I think will be fun. Yeah. Got my handy charcoal. Ooh, this is decent coffee. It's Peruvian. Well, maybe I'll get myself a cup. And he was just down there, like last week. Oh. To visit the guy where, where this is made. That's pretty nifty. So let's pour a little bit on here. The coffee has a really nice, subtle stain that when you can play with it, it works really nicely. I don't really use too much because I want to drink some. So this is a similar technique that I've done before by drawing into the, um, the plant area. I do have to be a little careful because, well, it's nice and warm. We should do that in the winter, Kristen. Paint with coffee. Paint with coffee <laughs> because it's so warm. And you can see it helps dissolve and really make for some dark marks. And I'm going to be very abstract today. I, mean, I might pick up some elements that are here, like the people, the singing the uh, ship in the distance over there. It's really, really beautiful. Maybe we'll take some other footage and you can see it today. I'm going to be a little bit different than we've seen in here lately. Uh, I'm going to block in with the charcoal, and then I'm going to use my uh, white, and I'm going to uh, start to close in or shape these different areas. And then we're going to add some really, really dramatic color today uh, because, you know, I love my color. So we're going to add some hot pink. Uh, which you can find from Amsterdam Acrylics, from Cornell Talent, and it's on our website. All, yeah. all the stuff I'm using, well, most of this, actually, most of the stuff I'm using today will be on our website. Yes. So that's pretty cool. It's a bus going by, so you can see where it's dry, it's a, it's a different look, right? I like the, the you can see with the coffee. It's actually spreading, and it's creating a very nice brown. People will dye with this a lot too, don't they? They use dye. Don't they do copper dyeing? Yeah, you can do that. I'm going to pretend that stage goes this way. There's a little stage with steps on it, so I'm going to just capture that feeling of steps down here. And the guy is singing, so we're going to throw in a little speaker. It's a really abstract speaker. And then we're going to do a little guitar. It sounds good, but I can hear all the construction equipment. Yeah, they're redoing the, the whole street down below us here. There we go. We've got, we've got a little active knee. Try and capture the essence of what he is over there in a very gestural manner. And you can go back when you're doing outside work like this, you can come back later when you get home and you can be able to refine some of this stuff. I always think of this as an opportunity to capture the moment, the excitement of being outdoors, of seeing something happening that's not just in the confines of the security of the studio. Get outdoors. Yeah. That's what we have. Yes. <laughs> 
So now we have a little gesture going on there. I like this. That doesn't even exist there. Uh, we got some flags. I don't know if they're flags. I don't think I have a record, otherwise I need to come to the I made it last. I didn't notice you were out here too. Yeah, a lot of fun. I'm going to try not to get the plaza all dirty that you guys very gratefully made for us to play. Thank you. I appreciate that. So, we, uh, it's been a lot of fun. We've enjoyed being here and sharing you know, what's happened. The relief was amazing. Come visit. Also, I hope we. Uh, So they're going to be coming back too. Thanks, guys. I know some of you are watching, especially Sue for organizing everything. Yeah, it's nice to meet you. Well, you have a great day. You too. Not as bad as last week when I forgot the battery to the camera. Yeah, Kristen forgot the battery. And it was not a good day for me. Board. She kind of forgot a lot of stuff last week. I'm not, I, I'm adjusting to, uh, to doing this. Yeah, normally we're in the security of our, you know, our, uh, our sanctuary. As somebody pointed out to me this morning, that the, the artist studio was the sanctuary of the sanctuary. Hi. How are you? We are painting with Lakes of Plein Air painting. We're part of uh, the abstract group in town. And we've had been doing it every Wednesday morning. And now we're going to try to do it on Thursday. Right. Take advantage of the music. Yeah, so we get some good music. Oh, you're going to try to do it on Thursday? Yeah, yeah. so we're shifting to Thursdays. 
And it's short notice, so a lot of the just put it so hard. Yeah, a little bit quick gesture, guys. I'm going to have to try to so a figure may or may not remain as we go and build the layers up. But I know he's under there. You know, after we get it a little thicker, even if, he, even if that figure leaves, I know that this image, this moment is coming. That is what they're telling me. Yeah. Allergies out here are just really exciting. If you want to check out our work online, okay. Okay. Card. Card. <laughs> it's my wife, Kristen. She is the director and producer of our show. And every week we're live on uh, many platforms. Are you guys on Instagram at all? Oh, oh yeah. Instagram is one of our bigger platforms. Yeah. So I can just like type this in and search in Instagram and find you. Yeah, so if you go to our website in there, then yeah. when you'll get there, there's links to all the social media. Everything's there. Right at the top, so we can dig it. It's just fun. I really like it. We also have some more delicious over here. Oh, okay. Not a lot, but. Working wet into wet is just a fun, fun stuff. So, very kind of a prompt to brush work and then I can build the surface over time. There's some trees, there's some branches that I want to have, and the flags, and so there's kind of that wavy motion too. That's the stage there, yeah. I add a little bit of blue, even though you know, it's, not really, it's blue out there, but it's only blue in color. And so this will evolve, and I, I don't know how far it gets, but uh, it'll get developed a lot more in the studio later. Less uh, work to clean the palette knife here. Look at that. Look at how that just blends right into the other colors. That circle of stay it's just a cool shape. I didn't mean to make that, but I like that. <laughs> kind of extension work, too. Now check us out online. Thank you. Thank you for visiting. Hey, so you're switching your here on Thursday? Yeah, definitely okay. switching. I don't yeah. know. Why we do stay here with you? Trying not to get this. Try not to get anything really nice. Now they think that it's because it's come back with the next. Parks and Rec gave us permission. Yeah, yeah. That's, right. that's a good thing to know. You should all be. You're gonna start a little club in the park. Check with your Parks and Rec department. Yeah, there might be some ordinances for it because we're filming. We had to get permission from. The city film office. So that's another thing. If you're going to do any filming, some places are very strict about that in the city. Yeah. And so we have we have permission to do it. I think we should debate it. It's okay. So let's get a little hot pink in there, just because we need something to wake me up. Wake me up. There's the reference. You must be feeling a little better today because. Uh, Throwing a few little references out. Ah, uh, well, it's our perfect day. It's our perfect day. We are having a perfect day. I am manifesting a perfect day. It was a good one. Definitely. All right, that's getting down to the wire. Down to the last dregs of that. <laughs> All right, look at that pink. Ah, oh, it's so smooth. It glows. It just glows. Around 
that being said, it'll outlast all of us probably. Yeah, I mean, it'll outlast us. <laughs> So that's the one thing to remember is when we talk about these things, you're looking at 100 years or plus. And, you know, our motto of create without fear, a big part of this, is just being able to um, it's just being able to, to do the process. You know, get out and enjoy it. Uh, and frankly, I was having a conversation with a materials expert uh, in the art world just recently. Uh, I think it was yesterday. And, you know, he, he said that the issue really is any of us is that degradation of the product actually part of the intention because if you think about that that could be a, a performance piece that's centuries long you know you want that piece to great so there are some several really good artists that are doing that they're taking the work and they're actually getting it to uh, great over a period of time deliberately you know? and I, I think that's really fascinating Definitely got some. Uh, I think, you know, I'm gonna throw some green in here because it is. I'm gonna do this first. Create a little green. Scrubbing. Try not to use too much water today, Kristen. Yeah, you gotta get back in the car. <laughs> To get to our back to our studio. Now I can hear the song. I'm hoping we can hear it too while we shut down. That's part of the reason I originally started the Well, it depends if it's playing. I probably should. Yeah. That's the other thing about filming that everybody has to realize. Right? Yeah. All right, I'm going to add some. Man, the color just goes a long way. So I'm using primarily Amsterdam acrylics. If you saw a different bottle in here, it's because those are old bottles that my mom had, and I filled them up with uh, Amsterdam product. And because, you know, I don't like to waste things, you know, you should reuse what you have. And unfortunately, art uses a lot of plastic within its containers. So try to do your best to recycle. All right, we need some green back. So either I can use the paint sticks, which are really nice. It's a very clean way. Or I can throw a little bit. I think I'm going to throw a little bit of this in there. Again, it's a different uh, color in here than what you're seeing. Is it actually Amsterdam Um, I think it's mixed with some, it is mixed with some other stuff. So it started out as the duplex, and then I think I mixed in some other colors. So you still get a little bit of that luminosity, particularly in this light. Just lightly tickling the surface so I can keep that paint pretty thick. Oh, 
this is an abstract work, an abstract picture. And I, I, uh, I do go and do some live drawing every so often to keep my, my uh, chops, so to speak, in practice. So we get asked that quite a bit. You know, if, if I have a back, what kind of background I have, I have a very strong background in the arts, commercial arts. That doesn't mean that you know, I'm, I'm sticking with the rules. <laughs> Hi. Howdy, how's it going? Hello, how are you guys doing? Not too bad. Trying yeah. to stay out of your shot. No, you oh, can you're fine. Shot if you want. Okay. You're fine. What do you got going here? We got we got a sign to non disclosure. Oh, okay. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, just don't read it, all right? Just don't, read it. <laughs> don't read the details, but trust me, it's okay. <laughs> I'm sure it is. Oh, what do you got going on? So we're doing some plein air painting. We're going to be here Thursdays through September. Okay. And we are part of the loosely knit group of abstract artists, but anybody is welcome to come. And we've been doing it Wednesdays through this last month. Okay. And this is way more fun than this. People's kind of nice. So we're also filming it on uh, multiple platforms. Right? Yeah. So where, where are we on again? Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Twitch, YouTube, and sometimes Twitter. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> so we get around. I see that. So just, you know, kind of talking to some of our followers about the painting process, but we're also promoting the downtown area and getting around here. Uh, we'd like to get more people coming to this year. So it's almost an automatic. When I'm talking like this, I might as well just not even <laughs> I'll fix it in post office. Exactly, yeah. Everything gets fixed in post. So, and, and that's, there's some truth to that. Sometimes you get your own brain in the way of creating, especially when you're abstract, you're actually type of painter. Sure. And we can get your emotional stuff that you don't know too much. So I like to loosen up, get some crazy stuff going. Let's see, did I meet you before here? No, you're not. So. Are yes. you from Elite as well? I am from Elite as well, yeah. Nice. Glad you found a little bit of shade here too. Oh yeah. Oh, we are very grateful. Oh my goodness. Thanks for putting the trees in. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah put them in myself. <laughs> Did you? No, I didn't. Not even a little. Well, they really definitely uh, Minnesota Power doesn't have a tree plant. It's so beautiful, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, they uh, they own the space. They put all this stuff in, and uh, years and years in the in the making to get all this to come together. Was it really? Oh yeah. That's beautiful. Years of uh, architecture and figuring out, working with uh, uh, Blue City, kind of what we could do with this space. Obviously, we still want it to be a nice big public area so that everybody can enjoy it. Um, yeah, so it really can enhance the downtown area. Yeah, yeah nicely done. That was good stuff, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can we tag the, the downtown stuff? We were actually pretty involved with the last film. Okay. The one down they did it Harmonies or uh, yeah, I was there and then uh they were very salon, so we were pretty helpful to set with it. Did they also film at one of the, the mansions? That was a, uh, that was a separate I think that okay. was a separate that was, uh, I drove Hawthorne, I drive Hawthorne every day. Oh yeah, yeah. And I'm like, man, it's locked in. I remember that. That was like May, because we go up Hawthorne to get to well, our, yeah. a place we go every day. Okay. And uh yeah, yeah we, we noticed that one, but that was a different film. Okay. Oh, it's great to see that. We'll take over from Georgia any day now, right? Yes. Uh, yeah, I yeah. Think, oh. Although there's <laughs> some people from Georgia here, so we, we mean you no know, disrespect. Oh, no. <laughs> Friendly competition. That's, that's right. what it is. Well, it's funny because we do tag this Duluth, yeah. and so what happens is a lot of people come are watching in Duluth, Georgia. Duluth, Georgia. Yeah. And we're always like, we're like, where can we in Minnesota? <laughs> Very nice. You just have to drive a little bit today. Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to ask you a quick technical question. Yeah. How do you like your road mics? Love them. Yeah? I, I bought a cheap version okay. because I was like, I don't want to spend $500, right? And it was nowhere near as good. There was a hiss. It was just obnoxious. Yeah. These have been great. Do you find do you have any wind issues without the little fuzzy on it? No. Okay. I do have a little clip that we do use when there's wind. All right. You know, those only cost 30 bucks for a piece of wasn't a big this is just easier than grabbing into your clothes. Right, yeah. No, they, they are nice. Um, yeah, they, they look a little less nice, but yeah, for the quality and the convenience of the price. Exactly. Uh, I do all sorts of things. 
something. I used to do uh, a lot of special uh, projects. Yeah, special projects. Um, I used to do um, uh, ITV back in the day, and that was just regular, you know, collaborative uh, uh, all over events. With, uh, with, uh, they had a shared campus between the Trinities and here, oh. and so we'd buy you know, all the, the technical Okay. I wanted to work this format today because, because I hadn't done a lot of it in a while. It, it looks so nice, you know, above a headboard or above a couch. I mean, yeah, I sometimes think about that when, I, when I'm making it. Yeah, and this one, I think because I pulled out some of those recently, I would be studio so we can set up the sound the mini sound stage for, for the show. Yeah. And also
Except a little of the black on there, and that actually helps the fine. The area is a little more. It's like a city in a globe. I never made a city in a globe. I didn't mean to do that. It's a little mix this in a little bit more here. Reference to the shoreline here in Duluth. I can see some of that out there along with the ship, one of the ships. I love the way that the ships come and go out of here every day. So far, I haven't messed up. I'm not going to jinx myself like that. But too bad. Here. So they had a version of ice, and they had a version of um, like that nice ex-Navy gentleman that came to us, a lifelong resident. He's very nice. I don't care if he's good. It's cool. So some influence from Kandinsky for me, Clay, uh, Clay rather, um, just a lot of the guys from the abstract expression of the era fascinated me. Uh, it's been an influence in my work since the beginning. I'm getting nice coffee. Oh? Yeah. All right, it's, she's going, so if you have questions, wait until she's back. <laughs> Just paint with me for a while. So you can see I'm starting to build kind of some some uh, of uh, 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 some of this. Create some overlap and you know, that help with some depth. I don't really like that, so I'll get some some kind of I'm not liking the canvas. I'm gonna grab my big wood. Wisconsin, they 
experienced some texture in the background. The one thing I didn't bring was my white chalk. The white chalk is usually a little better after the fact. Uh, when it sets up a little bit. Otherwise, it kind of gets lost in the structure. Yeah, it's kind of like the It's interesting how much noise you than I remember that. Oh, it's always this noisy. I think your ears are just plugged. <laughs> <laughs> they are. I've got some. You see me scratching my nose because there's there's something going on right now. Even allergy medicine. It's very uh, it's very active. Eyes are water. Oh, it's a nice breeze down here. It's nice, yeah. Just a little more shelter than you put in this spot. And so we're not getting as much uh, leaf on. And I don't know why yesterday I didn't drink this season. I was on the floor at yesterday's show. Go check that out. It's crawling around the ground. <laughs> it's much more pleasant for me to drink. This is really hard to find. I mean, 
enjoying it. I know I'm doing a lot of black works. Space and work together with it too. So it might help us find out more people pulling in on some of the employee problems that we're going to have. So that's kind of where we are with it. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Kitty. So many things going on around here. Oh, Chuck. Are we swimming? Are we swimming? What is it? Keep that's Keith's swimming. Keep swimming. That's a very famous song. Does anybody recognize it? <laughs> if you have kids, you will recognize that song. Or if you're over the age of 34. Or if that's true. Because <laughs> you were a kid when it came out. <laughs> we had a fish named after that character, as you know. Oh, yes. I'm not going to say it because this is like a mini contest where the points don't matter and you win nothing. <laughs> Who can remember who that was first? Is the question. So this is uh, the expert series of the acrylics from Amsterdam. Again, you can get this stuff on our website if you want. The prices aren't going to be as cheap as some of the other ones, but you're helping out your fellow artists. <laughs> so but I, it, the price I actually is still reasonable. It's below MSRP. Well, oh, that's a good point, B Rolls Royce. I like that. He said, is there such a thing as hyper-realistic? Sure. Is there also such a thing as hyper-abstract? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> is there somebody skirting the edge of it? Yeah. The pigmentation on these are really, really nice. Um, and I can tell the difference between the And also the and the experts, so-called experts. And you really can't tell the difference, especially if you do a lot of color mixing. So if you're doing a lot of color mixing, you definitely want to spring for using the expert series. Any brand you use, really, you should spring for that if you're doing color mixing. Because the others are going to be by money. You don't get as good a color if you're doing the mixing. Those are things to consider when you're doing art, uh, purchasing your materials. That being said, you can use anything in your junk drawer. You can't afford paint that. So get in your junk drawer and see what happens. So what do we say? Great, without fear. That's right. Even our little one says it all the time. <laughs> so I'm putting in some more leaves. We're going to nestle in those trees. It's really nice. So I'm just taking that. Indicating that the, uh, the heel of my palette. Right, when I say every time we do this, guys, go check out each other's art. Yes. Support each other. Artists need each other's support in a positive manner. We're all about dollars, but I'm reliving that one painting. No, oh, he's stuck in there now. He's stuck there. So I can go back in with the acrylic markers lately, or after this is all done, I can go in with the acrylic markers and uh, do some more highlights. As the paint's dried, I can do some onboard blending, like I'm doing here to get a really beautiful brush this beautiful purple. That's mixing the, the blue, uh, and I don't even remember what blue that is. I don't know. Uh, mixing it with the, the hot heat and creating some really nice kind of gray areas that are just pretty. Let's try and do that over here too. Well, this is dry but you might be able to see it. We'll keep just a little bit of that hot heat around the corner just because 
it gives it really interesting it kind of helps draw your eye to it so looking at the journey through the painting when you're doing your line quality when you're doing your color choices and everything take me for a journey take me for a journey <laughs> i want to see where your brain is wanting to go and where you, what you want to show me and you have the power to do that in the piece and that's really cool it's really exciting I really like go down here. I'm not really pleased with this really, really dark spot right there. I'm trying to keep it a little more light. So I'm going to try something, and this could be a, a, a terrible disaster, but I'm still going to try it. I'm going to get the white back out. I'm going to pour just a little bit because I don't want to break my uh, record of not making the change myself. It's not my studio. Most of my studio for the day. Gotta warn you, my phone is starting to get unstable. Get close. Yeah, I keep losing signal. And... Okay, so I'm gonna lightly put that white in there, and then I think I'm gonna scrape it right over the top. Oh, this is a good choice. I'm gonna keep this on. Grab. Oh yeah, look at that. So some of the paint that was dried under there, really, 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 really nice. So as usual, once we're done, I'll probably go back into this. I definitely will go back. I'll highlight certain areas. I'll do some fine pencil work with the Brunzel pencils. I'll come in with the Amsterdam acrylic markers and do some more little detail work. I like to build a lot of depth in these. So in conclusion, thanks for coming. I really appreciate you all being here. Remember, support each other, love each other, and create without fear. The hashtag is it. Embrace it. Come visit us at davidaustingallery.com. And as my beautiful wife, director, and producer, and tech guru, <laughs> Kristen. See you later, everybody. Thanks again for joining us.